G'day and welcome back to our Danish Common Sense campaign. So, tooling up for a war against Friesland. We'll bring in Mecklenburg, the Emperor and his friends. It's not the Emperor. Nassau and Flanders, which is absolutely perfect for us. Uh, unfortunately, nobody would really join. Uh, Navy's going to be expensive when we actually use it. Um, we can't actually get France to... Well, we can get them to be our ally, but it'll be a really stupid idea. Even though they can't actually call us in, you know something would go wrong if we allied them now. But Burgundy will be big and England will be big, which is terrible for us in both senses. Who is he actually? He must have had negative prestige when he died. Did we ever offer them an alliance? Hmm. Would we rather have Burgundy or France? I think that will be answered when they peace out. It's going to be huge. Alright, so yeah, nobody will join because Lithuania is too far away and Poland were just called into the last war, but I think we're fine to go. We can't fabricate on Flanders because it's too far away. After we take this we would be able to, but we'll see what we can do. It's outside the HRE, so it be perfect area to expand. Otherwise, we're fabricating on Bismar and... Who are you? Oldenburg. Might as well get a fabrication started on them. Alright, let's jump into it. Let's go. Clear war. Uh, we could actually ally Flanders and prevent them from coming in. But I would rather take some of that in this one. Now, Mecklenburg. Who are your allies? Yeah, no way in hell. Alright. Just us versus them. Could be another huge mistake. But we'll give it a go. Hess and Mecklenburg. Hess will soon call in their other guys. Looks like there is a small fleet. In which case, we might as well pay for our fleet for a couple of months. And go out and find them. So we need to have ships here anyway. Alright, Nassau are in. Yeah, it's looking good. He had another one, didn't he? Flanders. Yeah, right. Flanders aren't in yet. Well, they might not even get called in. And there goes Nassau. Burgundy accepted peace with Scotland, which is good. It means they're getting ready to peace out. Hey, okay, cool. Oh, look at that. Not set as special interest. Still not. Hey, Burgundy. Why can we not do it from there? Alright. Sort that out later. Burgundy took this whole bunch of crap. Which France would inherit if France still exists when the Bacunian inheritance happens. Scotland no longer a valid rival, which means no, they weren't actually allied to them anymore anyway. But they really want us to ally them now. They'll lose most of this section to England, who have a core and three claims. So that's going to go to England. And then with his leftover, he might actually make them release someone as well. It'll be great. Alright, they are ready to come out. Norway are doing great stuff by themselves over there. That's why you give Swedish land to Norway if you can. Should have given them more. <clears throat> Alright, blockade is in. How long till the next? Uh, four years. Alright, so we'll be ready for that. Let's grab improve relations. Should help with aggressive expansion tick down rate. Right? Claim on Bismar. Perfect. Oh yes. I think you're doing. Just keep your ass once. Don't make us do it again. Hess and Nassau. So they won't be able to call these guys in once we take that. I guess if they were going to call them in, they would have by now. Let's start with the alliance. They've chosen not to do it. Alright, so now they can't call anyone else in. Let's head down to Nassau. Help 
them with that sage. Yep. Yep. And yep. Cool. Uh, there should be. Where am I looking? Uh, there is some left. Mecklenburg. They are all sitting in there. So we'll keep. Yeah, we'll keep funding the Navy. Don't have any stupid accidents when, you know, don't really need the money. Here we go. France will cede Armagny, Bern, Perigord, and Nevers to England. Giant chunk. And now France is split into three parts. My God, he's going to get wrecked. Five there, three there, and his capital only has five parts in it. Five provinces. Renounce their claims on Cor, Normandy, Gascon, and Le Bourg, and release Berry, pay ducats. Well, good thing we got them to agree that we are allyable. We are definitely not going to do that. That would give us a stability hit, otherwise we'd definitely get rid of that relationship altogether. Wow. Burgundy are now 242%. France is 265. They're pretty evenly matched. My God. Goodbye, France. And the Burgundian inheritance would have to fire pretty soon. But I don't see Hess going to war with Burgundy. Unless they actually attack the Empire again. Empire. Which they might do to take Bar. Hmm. Well, at the moment he wouldn't defend, but once he's not at war with us, he would. If you capture something, that would be great. Uh, he's going to go to Vismar, and then he's going to get kicked straight back out again. Rostock. Well done, Nassau. <clears throat> great forward planning there. There they come. And there they go. Captured one transport. That's actually really good. So, we will stop funding the Navy. He will park in Finn. It's annoying that it says Wallen down there. Just keep thinking that's a separate sea zone, but store belts the whole thing. Alright, Hess is back over there. It'll take him forever. Livonians, hopefully, we can still rival them. You son of a bitch. Did you just assault that? Well, we don't have to fund them to do the thing. Let's just stick him out there. He'll come back around. Peace. Nassau out. That's Mecklenburg's got army there. Need to get Nassau out before they take that, hopefully. Our exhaustion is high, yes. All from attrition. Alright. Nassau's not fighting there. Hess is about to jump in though. Alright, Nassau, give us your money. And now all these treaties. And give us war reps. And give up the claims. And we'll go sit on the Emperor. Unfortunate. But if they get stuck there for a while, we'll be good. Invest in admin tech. Um, not until we know how many points we're going to be using. Taken Friesland. And then. I can't believe Burgundy's doing so well without these guys on his side. Yeah, Flanders is the only one that we can absorb without having issues. That's cool. Natural scientist. It's fine. Let's grab Siege Guy. Were we coring something? Probably East Frisia, maybe? Do we want to keep this here? I don't think we do. Let's get rid of it. Prefer money to security. 
money is security. Right. And that wouldn't even pay for our fleet when we actually put the slider up. You know why he's already come back here. He's dodging them, going straight for what we need. Good boy. We'll take this, we'll piece Hess out. Then it'll just be Mecklenburg. We'll go up there and kill him. And take the last of these things there. So he's non-co-belligerent. Don't know if we'll actually want to take land. Hmm. Not to say he's outbreak. Lundberg done there. Come on, don't let him take that. Do it. God damn it. Alright, better relations over time. Awesome. And now it has to done. Right. Well, Hess. You'll annul with Flanders. And you'll give us money. And we should get enforced military access, but that's fine. Let's do that. And we need to head up this way. Mecklenburg have it, so we don't actually need to do that. As long as he does that quickly, we'll be sorted. Accidentally ran into that army. It's fine. It's a little manpower between friends. There they go. And this is working now, actually getting it back. I don't know why that breaks sometimes. He takes that. Next time. Okay, so we need to be probably over there. I guess we'll hang around Visma. If we can full annex these guys, that'd be great. Depends where he does the unlawful territory. All right, let's take a look. How much aggressive expansion is that? Not too bad. 10.8 for them. 8.1 there. All right. Do it all in one hit. Wait till next year, and that could actually be a goer. Full annexing two HRE members in one war. Not bad. Speaking of which, hey Lundberg. How do you feel about becoming part of the Danish kingdom? And Pomerania. We like to look at your land. Hopefully they don't get caught. That would kind of screw us. There's no call for peace yet. I'm assuming it'll come early next year. Battle of Lepanto. Nope. Not in the game. But then Dublin's not in the game either, is it? And that's right there. Oh, Knocht. Come on, buddy. How long till England kill you? You got no friends. Oh, the Scotland. England, what are you waiting for? Vassalize Scotland. I guess. He's already taken Ayrshire, but that's all he took from Scotland. We shall. Papal influence. 100 prestige. It's kind of nice. Lose admin or Lubeck gets unrest up for five years. Lubeck currently probably alright. The autonomy change will be annoying. Who's this? Brunswick and Pomerania? Who are you allied with? Brunswick, Oldenburg, I'm not. Yeah, we'll do um, Poland against them. Why are you making us suffer attrition? Get away. Alright, it is a new year. I actually forgot 
to keep an eye on that. And it would be perfect to do it now. So let's just get it started. We've got plenty of admin points to core them. To Denmark, to Denmark. And yeah, it doesn't actually say Friesland. We demand Friesland's full annexation and we demand Mecklenburg's full annexation. We demand money and that's all we can get. A little bit of inflation is fine. Let's make sure. Jesus. Make sure these are as healthy as possible and we will actually need these guys to come over to Friesland. What are you asking for, Hess? Which one? Well, no. Well, how much extra is it costing us? 23%. It's only 50 to buy it down, so sure. Doing that much. Save the admin. Need the Diplo for ideas and tech, but yeah, saving admin points is always good. Alliance offer from France. Well, we could ally with them for a while. I'm sure they've got pretty long truce with Burgundy. Another six years, and England will be even longer, 12 years. So we could ally with them and then bring them against Flanders. It's allied with Burgundy, so Burgundy if everything goes wrong, we could feed them France. <laughs> Alright, well, let's fabricate a claim down here on definitely Antwerp. Have a free rival. Rival Burgundy. Hmm. Then Hess would inherit, inherit parts of them. Alright, we'll ride with them. Alright France, you win. Military access from Pomerania, sounds fair. So we can't take anything over here for a while. We might as well pull France into a war against Flanders in Burgundy. I don't see Poland agreeing to join a war like that. So, who are rival to Flanders? Galway, Brabant, and Holland. I assume Holland and Brabant both hate us. Pinion and hostile. He is not hostile. Hmm. That ally to our rival Burgundy, though. There's no. No good little deals we can do down here at the moment. Alright, Gelro. They love us. They rival Flanders. Right. There's definitely something we want to do then. Claim on Stralsund. We'll start a war with them a bit later. Let's see if Poland are ready. They are ready in 79. End of 79. France are in debt, so they're not going to join anywhere at all. So that could be a mistake having them. Gilray, yeah, are we over by one? We are. Gilray will definitely not be a long-term thing though, so no to that, buddy. Unless you would let us vassalise you. Minus 124, because they're a member of the Empire. Uh, we'll build some trust up though. And there goes Canocht. Nice while it lasted, buddy, but if you're going to be in the British Isles with no allies, then you've got to expect something to happen. Teutonic declared war on Pomerania. Hopefully it could mean that we could do it without the Emperor coming in. No, of course not. Oh, that'll keep expanding. of the Empire is Danzig. We would love to grab Danzig. He is the one who's rivaled us. We haven't done it the other way. Okay. Well, I'm going to start doing some more claims on the Livonians then. 
Probably a personal. Chance of getting caught. Oh, we don't have that advisor anymore, do we? Nope. It's fine. Better relations over time is better. And we don't care what France think anymore. Let's bring him back. We do care what Poland think. So we had better improve with him. Now Lithuania, we will improve with as well because for some reason they're still not in a PU. All right, well, first January. I'm gonna take a short break here and when we come back, we will figure out which war we're gonna do next. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying it and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.